Now there are a few videos out there on how to change the drive shaft oil on a Suzuki Boulevard C50 or a Suzuki Boulevard M50, but they're all really long, so I wanted to make a super quick one of only a few minutes. Basically, there's only two real components to it. One, this is where you drain from. Two, that's where you fill up from. So we're gonna loosen up this uh, nut. It's, I believe, a size 21. Now there's only a couple hundred milliliters of fluid in here, so even a small Tupperware container like this should be enough. Keep in mind, you're gonna to wanna to do this when your engine is a little bit warm, so careful not to burn your fingers. There is both the nut as well as a washer here. You don't wanna lose them. So you can see that coming out. But to make sure we don't get anything on the tires, I'm just gonna put a rag. Now one thing I want to show you guys is, you can tell there's a lot of buildup in there. See that? That's like some gook that came from inside of there, so you're gonna to wanna to clean that up a little bit. You can just grab like a magnetic screwdriver and just try and clear that up. While that's draining, I like to uh, just put on a 17 and just loosen off the lid here. Keep in mind there is a little gasket here that you're gonna make sure, you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't lose or drop in there. I'm not too worried about getting any of this oil on the sidewall on the sidewall of these tires because as you can tell, these sidewalls are already cracked. So there's a little bit of dry rot happening, so these are gonna be replaced anyway. But you should make sure that you're protecting the sidewalls of your tires. And that's how you drain it. And the manual basically says just refit this. So it doesn't really give a torque spec, so we're gonna do it uh, just tight enough. Just wanna make sure that you're not gonna strip it. And again, make sure that your washer is on there. I use this to take it off, but I don't wanna use such a huge wrench to tighten that up, because I might overdo it. So I'm gonna switch to a 21 on a smaller wrench. Tighten that up just a bit. Now that that's done, we need to get the right oil. Suzuki service manual calls for a hypoid gear oil for drive shaft lines. So I like using this Bellray one. It's uh, APA, sorry, API GL5, which is what the manual calls for for these bikes, so they're great. Another reason why I like the Bellray one is you can just pull this out and now it's super easy to pour. And the manual says to just pour this in until it basically fills up. And it's pretty easy to just look in the hole and see where the level is. And you're gonna take your little cap, put it back in. You might have a bit push out as these threads go down, just wipe it up afterwards. Tighten that down. The service manual does not give you a torque spec. So again, just tighten it up without risking stripping it. That's good. And that's all there is to it. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. If you like this video, please hit that like button somewhere around here. Maybe even hit subscribe for more free, awesome, hopefully awesome, motorcycle content. Thank you guys. Ride safe. Peace.